Hello and welcome. This is Africa in 10 Minutes, where we bring to you the top business news in Africa. Cut to footprint to Africa. I am Mirabel Aliladia, and here are the headlines. Public debt on the continent still rising, World Bank report. Actis to fund $200 million property development in Cameroon. UK wants trade with South Africa to remain strong post-Brexit. Ethiopia to become Africa's fastest growing economy in 2018. Top hotel six share of East Africa's tourism boom. Now the news in detail. Public debt relative to gross domestic product is on the rise on the African continent and the composition of debt has changed as countries have shifted from traditional concessional sources of financing towards more market-based ones. The 17th edition of the World Bank's Africa Pulse report has said. Launched on Wednesday, April 18th, the report said higher debt burdens and rising exposure to market risk pose concern about debt sustainability for African governments. World Bank's chief economist for the African region, Albert Zufak, presenting the findings said the main drivers of the increase in public debt to GDP were rising fiscal deficits and the depreciation of exchange rates, especially in commodity exporting countries. The report also said debt sustainability risk in the region had increased significantly over the past five years with 18 countries at high risk of debt distress as of March 2018, compared with eight in 2013. Explaining further, Mr. Zufact said the composition of public debt has changed away from traditional towards new sources of financing. Growth had also rebounded in sub-Saharan Africa, but not fast enough, indicating we are still far from pre-crisis growth levels, Mr. Zufak noted. To curb the trend, it's urged that African governments must speed up and deepen macroeconomic and structural reforms to achieve high and sustained levels of growth. British Investment Fund, Actis is investing $200 million in Cameroon for the development of a mall and business park in a move that is signal that Cameroon is a good business destination for multinationals. The development consists of an 18,000 square meters commercial center, which includes a car for supermarkets, a five-hall cinema multi-complex operated by Genesis Group, and a wide range of restaurants and leisure boutiques. A second phase of the project will include a five-star hotel and office spaces. Actis had invested in Cameroonian power sector in the past. This diversification of portfolio in Cameroon is a remarkable signal that Cameroon is a good business destination for multinationals like Actis. British High Commissioner to Cameroon, H.E. Rowan Laxton, said at the foundation stone for the construction of the Douala Grand Mall and Business Park. As the British High Commissioner, I feel encouraged to persuade more UK investors to come. The project is being executed in partnership with a local real estate developer, Craft Developments, and is expected to create about 4,500 local jobs. Construction is expected to be complete by the end of 2019. South Africa and the UK have enjoyed mutually beneficial preferential trade since entry into force of the first reciprocal trade agreements between South Africa and the EU in January 2000. The UK want this to continue even as it leaves the EU and creates a new independent UK trade policy. We will build further on £9 billion of annual trade with South Africa, our biggest trading partner in Africa and champion free trade to help developing countries combat poverty and grow their economies said UK's International Trade Secretary, Dr. Liam Fox. Fox, who was speaking at a bilateral meeting with South Africa's Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Rob Davis, on Tuesday 17th at the sidelines of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, noted that the free trade has transformed developing economies across the world. Both parties agreed to assess options for bilateral technical cooperation in the areas of trade and investment promotion. In addition, the parties agreed to work together to promote investment in priority sectors to advance sustainable economic developments. In a referendum on 23rd of June 2016, 51.9% of the participating UK electorate voted to leave the EU, necessitating fresh talks between the UK and trade partners to agree on modalities for continued trade post-EU. Ethiopia will overtake Ghana as the fastest growing economy in 2018, with an 8.5% growth IMF's latest forecast issued on April 17th revealed. According to data from the Bretton Woods Institution, Ethiopia will record an 8.5% growth rate, while that of Ghana will be 6.3%.
Ethiopia will be stimulated by the entry of investors such as General Electric Co., Standard Group, as well as other Chinese companies into an economy whose GDP is $73 billion, almost double that of Ghana's at $43 billion US dollars. Meanwhile, Ghana's economy, the IMF explains, is increasingly dependent on commodity prices. Since the country became an oil producer in 2010, these new incomes, it's added, enabled the country to achieve 8.5% growth in 2017, the highest performance in five years, as reported by the country's statistical service. Although Ghana in October 2017 forecasted the economy to record an 8.9% growth in 2018, the figure has been revised to 6.3%, representing a sharp fall compared to last year's growth. Per the IMF forecast, Ghana now becomes Africa's fourth fastest growing economy after Ethiopia, Cote d'Ivoire at 7.4% and Senegal at 7% respectively. Early this year, the World Bank in its Global Economic Outlook report forecasted an 8.3% growth for Ghana ahead of Ethiopia's 8.2% and Cote d'Ivoire's 7.2%. A continental property management firm, Profica, says East Africa property development is ripe for business tourism. Profica East Africa Associate Director Kenneth Oigo said on Tuesday hotel brand expansion and development is now a big ticket item on the agenda for international investors. Not only are we seeing the major already entrenched brand names actively seeking expansion opportunities, but there is a new wave of non-mainstream niche operators that are investing in the region, he said. These operators are providing flexible boutique offerings that include short and long stay options, combined with service workplace venues, ideal for both business and leisure travelers. Profica, founded in 2005, has offices in Kenya, SA, Ghana, Mauritius, Nigeria, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It manages property development projects in various sectors, including retail, office, industrial, warehousing, hotels, healthcare, residential, and mixed use. That sums up the news for the week. Sit back for the recap. Public debt on the continent still rising, World Bank report. Actis to fund $200 million property development in Cameroon. UK wants trade with South Africa to remain strong post-Brexit. Ethiopia to become Africa's fastest growing economy in 2018. Top hotels seek share of East Africa's tourism boom. To keep up with the trending business news in Africa, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. These news reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, log on to www.footprintafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africans.